All right, so David needs at least 800 pounds in euros to go on a visit to Germany, okay? When he goes to the bank, he finds the lowest euro note the bank will give is the 50 euro note. The exchange rate is one pound equals 1.29 euros. What's the least, um, what's the least number of euros that David buys to ensure that he has at least 800 pound worth and how much do you pay for them? Okay, so it's a question which we have to break down, take our time on, okay? You can't just see this as one whole thing. You need to one, one step at a time, right? Um, and it says here, he needs at least 800 pounds. This is important, okay? By the looks of it, David has got more than 800 pounds in his wallet, right, to spend, okay? Because it says he needs at least 800 pounds, okay? So that's key, all right? Um, so he goes to the bank and um, the, there's the exchange rate. So straight away we could work out what £800 could be, yeah? Because the exchange rate is quite clear, isn't it? £1 is €1.29. Euros. So we could do, look, £800, of course, if £1 is €1.29, £800 will be um, 800 times 1.29. So we get... 800 times 1.29 and we get out 1032 all right so that would be euros okay so you think going to the bank you think wouldn't you he's, he's got 800 pounds and the exchange rate there okay you think he'd be able to get 1032 but there's a problem right if you read that middle line there it says when he goes to the bank he finds that the lowest euro note that the bank will give is the 50 euro note in other words they don't have um they don't have coins right and they don't have 10 euro notes or, or 20 euros right okay as we have in, in our now so in pound currency they've only got 50 euro notes right? that's all they've got so is he going to be able to have all of these euros here is he going to be able to have 1032 exactly well of course he isn't isn't he because they're not going to be able to give him this they, you know, they managed with the 1,000, but they won't be able to provide this 32. Because 32 would mean they'd have to give him, like, a t 10 euro, a 20 euro, and, of course, two, two euros, two coins. They haven't got that. They've only got 50 euro notes. So what we need to do now, we need to adjust this to see what sensibly he can have, okay? And, again, it goes then back to the original line here. What's it saying? It says David needs at least 800. So we need to decide, are we going to round this up or down, Okay. We've got to go to the nearest 50. So we're going to go up to the nearest 50 or down to the nearest 50. Well, seeing as he needs at least £800, if I was to round this down to 1000 he wouldn't get as much as £800 in euros. He'd get less, wouldn't he? Because £800 is worth this amount in euros. So we're going to need to round up. Okay. So what's the least number of euros that David buys to ensure that he has at least £800? Well, the bank will need to give him 1,050 euros. And this is how much did he pay for them? We well, might be thinking he paid 800 pounds. But no, that's not the case, right? It doesn't work like that. 800 pounds would get him that amount of euros, yeah? Which the bank can't provide. They've only got 50 euro notes. The bank has got to give him that. So the bank's got to give him a bit more, actually. And the bank have to charge for that, right? They can't just say, okay, just give us £800. No, they have to sort of, they have to satisfy this exchange rate. So we need to work out how much he's going to pay. Now, if you think about it, it's going to be more than £800, yeah? Because £800 provides that amount of euros. If they're going to give more euros than that, it's going to be a bit more than £800. So we'll work it out. And think carefully how we work this out. That's in euros, isn't it? If we want to work out how much pounds, we've got to change this back into pounds. When we change back into pounds, remember we've got to divide by the exchange rate. So 1,050 divide by the exchange rate, which is 1.29. Right, and we get... That there. Now it looks a horrible number, but basically we can round it two decimal places. So 813.95, right? And we can round it. There's a 3 there, so it stays as a 5. So 813.95. So that's all he pays. He's got to pay a bit more, £813.95. Of course, he can, he's, he can 
can afford it. It doesn't say that he, that he can't afford it. He just says he needs at least 800. So to guarantee at least 800 euros, 800 pounds worth in euros, he'd need to actually spend 813 pounds 95 and he would receive 1,050 in euros.